Alexandra of Denmark from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, www.wikipedia.org. Her Royal Highness, Princess Alexandra of Denmark, December 1st, 1844 to November 20th, 1925, was Queen Consort of King Edward VII of the United Kingdom, 1901 to 1910. Prior to that, she was Princess of Wales from 1863 to 1901, the longest anyone has ever held that title. From 1910 until her death, she also was the Dowager Queen, as the mother of the reigning monarch, George V of the United Kingdom, though that particular title was not used. Instead, through her widowhood, she was styled Her Majesty Queen Alexandra. Early Life Princess Alexandra Carolina Marie Charlotte Louise Julia, or Alex, as she was known within the family, was born on December 1st, 1844, at Yellow Palace, an 18th century townhouse at 18 Ameligad, right next to the Amelienborg Palace complex in Copenhagen. Her father was Prince Christian, later King Christian the Ninth of Denmark. Her mother was the former Princess Louise of hesse Although of royal blood, her family lived a comparatively normal life, and they did not possess great wealth. They nevertheless made spectacular marriages. Her sister, Princess Dagmar, for instance, would become Maria Fyodorovna, wife of Tsar Alexander III of Russia and mother of Nicholas II. As a result, her father became known as the father-in-law of Europe. Princess of Wales England's Albert Edward, Prince of Wales, known as Bertie, had already given his parents, Queen Victoria, and her husband, considerable cause for concern, and his mother, now widowed, was anxious for him to settle down. Alexandra of Denmark was not her first choice, since the Danes were at loggerheads with the Prussians, and most of the British royal family's relations were German. However, on meeting the Queen, the beautiful young Alex met with her approval, as well as Bertie's, and the couple were married on March the 10th, 1863. Her father acceded to the throne of Denmark eight months later. Alex's style was very different from that of the senior British royals. She was devoted to her children and her servants, and enjoyed activities such as dancing and ice skating. Even after the birth of her first child, Prince Albert Victor, Eddie, in 1864, she continued to behave much as before, and this led to some friction between the Queen and the young couple. After the birth of her third child in 1867, however, complications threatened her life, and she was left with a permanent limp. She also suffered an increasing degree of deafness, which was hereditary. Self-conscious about a scar on her neck, allegedly the result of a childhood accident, though others suggest a suicide attempt, she tried to hide it by wearing high choker necklaces and dresses. A strikingly attractive woman, Alex's high neckline started a fashion craze, though few at the time knew the secret behind them. Bertie and Alex adopted Sandringham House as their preferred residence, and their marriage was in many ways a happy one. However, Bertie did not give his wife or children as much attention as she would have liked, and they grew gradually estranged until his serious illness in the early 1870s brought about a reconciliation. Their relationship had its ups and downs over the years. Bertie, even after winning back his wife's affections, continued to keep mistresses, among them the actress Lily Lantry, the beautiful but married Jenny de Rome, mother of Winston Churchill, and society matron Alice Keppel. The death of Prince Albert Victor in 1892 was a serious blow to the tender-hearted Alex, and she insisted on keeping his room and possessions exactly as he had left them, much as did her mother-in-law after the death of Prince Albert in 1861. Alex herself remained youthful-looking into her senior years, thanks to elaborate veils and very heavy makeup. An observer described her as looking enamelled. Queen Alexandra as queen from 1901 to 1910, and queen mother thereafter, Alex was greatly loved by the British people. She was associated with many charities, the most notable being Alexandra Rose Day. During the Boer War, she founded Queen Alexandra's Nursing Corps, 
which became known as the QAs. However, she lacked political acumen, and her hatred for the Germans became very apparent during World War I, a hatred that stemmed from the German conquest of the formerly Danish lands Schleswig and Holstein during the Second War of Schleswig in 1864. She died on November 20th, 1925, at Sandringham, and was buried at Windsor. Titles from Birth to Death Alexandra Stiles in chronological order, Her Serene Highness Princess Alexandra of Schleswig-Holstein-Sonderburg-Luxburg, Her Highness Princess Alexandra of Denmark, Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra of Denmark, Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales, Her Majesty the Queen, Her Majesty Queen Alexandra. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.